Daria, are you there? Unleash the brass. Thank you very much. We are the Canadian Brass as represented. However, that's not the first music we're going to play for you here this afternoon. Uh, that was just a closer walk with thee, and it represents our encore. Um, <laughs> we figured out years ago, never leave that to chance. <laughs> and it's a bit of a, uh, it's an honor to be here as a part of Worlds Colliding because that's the way we have led our musical life. That, of course, was just a closer walk with thee, which is a New Orleans funeral march, which always ends very happy, so it made the loop. We're going to perform what could possibly be considered the base of brass music, B-A-S-E, Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach, and his most famous composition. If you named the five most famous compositions, this certainly would be on any list of 10 great works by Bach. It's the fugue in G minor, the one we're playing, not the other one. This is the little fugue in G minor. There's a large one known as the great fugue, but it's a translation of German, die große fuge, meaning great in the sense of size. It's also a great fugue, but it's great, great fugue. I don't want you to feel we're withholding the great fugue and playing this lousy little fugue. <laughs> this is probably maybe greater than great fugue, given its length. So the great little fugue in G minor. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. And now for something completely different and unusual. We're going to pre be premiering an arrangement of a special composition, a Canadian composition, that was written by Eric Stein, who's here with us today, uh, for his own group, the um, Beyond the Pale, which is essentially, a, I would say, a klezmer group in the best sense, a really wonderful ensemble. And they wrote a tune and it was just called Untitled. And at the end of the performance, which Moses Neimer was um, attending, he was asked for a suggestion for a title, and apparently the title was so difficult and so long that Eric said, well, why don't we just call it Moses Nigun, which means title in Yiddish. So we're going to perform for you Eric Stein's Moses Nigun for, it's very unusual to have the honoree right next to us, but uh, for Moses.
Thank you. We get Eric to stand up. Eric, are you out there? Would you stand up? Composer, Eric Stein. Where is he? Oh, up in the balcony. It's a great honor, Eric. Thank you very much, and thank you to the Canadian Brass. What a beautiful adaptation. That's it? You're done? Well, we could be done, or we can uh, play one more piece, perhaps the most disruptive of the three. Um, okay. In that case, Chuck's going to let you know more about it. Okay. <laughs> this is a special request. Now, we've had many opportunities to play for the Queen of England. Uh, this probably happens to you living in a former Commonwealth country, as we all do here. Phone rings. It's her again. Uh, insisting we play a command performance. And frankly, we didn't know what that would entail, so we were quite eager to find out. First thing that happens is the, um, up in the balcony, the door will open and she peeks in. If everybody's not in place, back into the hallway. Don't know what she's doing, probably. Uh... <laughs> that royal family's been trying to quit for over 300 years. It's, it's a problem. Well, when she comes out, she comes right to the front and she unfurls the royal crest, and it's gorgeous. The royal blue offsetting the gold crown, it looks just like the Seagram's logo. It's gorgeous. Well, we went ahead and played, and it still felt like a concert to us, and she came right up to us, and she said, you have probably been wondering what the difference is between a command performance and a concert. She said, for a command performance, you simply don't get paid. <sighs> we were horrified. We didn't know what to say. We're standing there, and suddenly Achilles blurted out, God bless America. Well, when the four of us play for the Queen in about a month, the four of us, <laughs> we'll have to make amends. We want to play the same thing for you that we played for her and for Moses. This is the um, Hallelujah Chorus by the famous English composer Georg Friedrich Handel, which we combined with our famous p favorite piece, which is Saints Go Marching In. So thank you very much for inviting us here, and this is de definitely collisions of worlds of music. So, Saints. Thank you. 
To read the little page about the brass, it's uh, page 73 in your program book. And Chuck, I was reading through it, and my eye caught on a sentence which says, as well as unparalleled musicality, each has the creativity, good humor, love of performing that characterize the ensemble. But I read it as, as well as unparalleled muscularity. <laughs> and then I thought, you carry this tuba around all the time. How much does that thing weigh? Uh, it's not very heavy. No, it looks... 200 pounds. 200 pounds, yeah. <laughs> that was wonderful. Oh, thank, thank, you you so yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, I hadn't seen Chuck in a long, long time. We bumped into each other a couple months ago at a soiree. I said, hey, what's doing? Why don't you come and play at and Idea City? And you gathered them from far and wide. Thank you very much, fellas. That was outstanding. <laughs> yeah. Moses, I want you right in here. In there. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> One more. That was it. Thank you guys can talk. <laughs> Thanks again, fellas. That's great. Thank you.